Hello! Welcome to the Hourglass with Jody McCraney Russo, <laughs> the one and only. Oh. <laughs> what are we doing today, Jody? We're fusing with inclusions. Wow. It's pretty cool, but pretty fun. <laughs> Does not really have a soundtrack. <laughs> wow! Let's... All right, hold on. Okay, I'm, we got to Ready? Gotta, whenever can you I are. get a Can I get a countdown? Three, two, one. Awesome. Okay. Yay. So, inclusions Ooh. in glass are when you add something in between layers of glass or add something to glass and you fuse it. And there's a bunch of different things you can use for inclusions and we're going to talk about a few of them today. Prompted by the beauty of the fall colors. Wow. These are all from my yard. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> You're it's so exactly welcome. what it looks like, to be honest. Yeah. It's just being covered it's with leaves. It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. It is. All right. So, if we wanted to use leaves in our fusing, if we wanted to use leaves, how would we do it? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> we put it. Okay. So, here's a leaf. Well, the first thing wow, is, it works it's a leaf. best if you press and dry your leaves because everything that all the moisture that's in leaves will have to be burned out. So you want those to be as dry as they possibly can if you're going to sandwich them between glass. So once it's dry, you can put it right between the layers of glass and fuse. Um, and you want to, of course, it is kind of fun. You want to, uh, to you, you can do a couple things with it. You can just put it straight in there. <laughs> I have too many things, always. You can Swimming put it straight things. in there, and uh, where's the best place to put this guy? Uh, that's right here. No, oh, this works right pretty here. well. Okay, yeah. look at that. Look at that. Okay, Whoa, so this is uh, what happens if you, when you put it between the layers, mm -hmm. is it burns out and leaves behind the ash it of the leaves. leaves. It leaves behind. <laughs> Oh, dear. Speaking of <laughs> folks, our jokely theme. What is that today? What's our joke What's theme? Our rock, rock jokes. <laughs> You're knock, fired. Knock, knock. I'm fired. <laughs> You're fired. Shoo, okay, see you later. <laughs> All right, we're doing knock, knock jokes today, folks, especially so, if they're leaf related. Or rock related, because we're rock talking related. about rocks, too. And okay. dirt. So, so this, is, this is, can I talk about glass now? Okay. One second. So this yeah. is this is what it looks Barracuda. like when it's burned out. <laughs> Elaine right. Tucker says hello. Hello, Elaine. <laughs> okay, so there's a couple of things. Don't don't think that's the only thing you can do with leaves because it is not not by a long leaf long that thought distance. behind. <laughs> Eek. Leaf that thought behind. Okay, you can also put them the leaves directly on your kiln shelf. Oh, look at that is such a good, you can see that really well. You can put them right on your kiln shelf and fire the glass over them. And this was not kiln washed or anything, so it leaves this uh, impression. It's almost like a kiln carving of an actual leaf. That's which is, fun. I think it's really cool. So that is fun. You can do this like if you're doing a, a rim of a plate, you could do the the ghost leaves around the whole edge, which is really cool. Spooky leaf. Okay. You could, if you were so inclined, if a person were so inclined. Is that all? That's pretty. Isn't that cool? So what this is, is we just took our glass paint um, that you can get here on Mondo Market TV, and we painted the leaf, and then we put it, the glass right on top of it and fused right over the top. That's and the pretty. leaf itself burns away, but what happens is the the paint, paint. remains on there. So wow. you get this. I think it. I think that is really that's quite awesome. Okay, but wait, but wait. There's there's more. more. Okay. Oh, Pat Ackerman says hi. Hi, Pat. Hey, Pat. So the last thing you can do. Well, the last thing I'm going to show you what you can do with leaves Ooh. is you leaf. can. Uh, paint your leaf with uh, compatible frit and then sprinkle the frit on and dump off the extra and fuse right fuse the glass right onto the leaf. So this particular leaf had a, a frit covered frit covered leaf and a plain leaf. And let's see if you can see 
you can still see maybe a little bit of the leaf that remains. And what happens is it gives you kind of a, a um, little bit of a bubble paint kind of look. <laughs> right. And you see that they all do trap a little bit of air, so you do need a bubble squeeze. Barracuda. And uh, this, <laughs> and a little uh, assistance on the bubbles. Okay. Um, first of all, Jenny says hello. Hey, Hi, Jenny. Jenny. <laughs> and Barbara says hello from Plains MT. Is that Montana? Uh huh. Um, I love these hour shows, and we love doing them. It's so <laughs> and then Jan says, "Knock, knock. Who's there?" Well, I'm supposed Hold on. to say, "Knock, who's knock." <laughs> <laughs> who's there? <laughs> Cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. Who? Cantaloupe tonight. Mom's got the car. Oh. <laughs> Real bad. Okay. Love it. And then Sherry Berry says, I love leaves. I did one from a tree we planted in memory of my mom, and it made a perfect bubble in the shape of a leaf. That's so cool. That's awesome, Sherry. Okay. Oh, I have more. No. Yes. We have to yes. do, no, we have to do glass first. Oh, <gasps> fine, but I, no, okay, we have they're to not do all, glass. They're not knock-knock jokes. Okay, if you have comments. A, all right. Stephanie says, hi from Germany. What a day. Three hours stained glass with Cheryl, and now the hourglass <laughs> with the McCraney Russia girls. There right? will be a lot of glass in my dreams tonight. <laughs> there will be. <laughs> all right. Our, okay, I have. Okay, one more. One more joke. Okay. Sheila says, I'm wondering if you need any quali leaf qualifications. Qualifications? No, apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying that doesn't seem to be <laughs> rude. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk to you about is. Um, and you know this is all just leading up so I can talk to you about Micah. Leafing up. Leafing up to Micah because Micah <laughs> is like, you know, my joy. But um, <laughs> this we also use a lot of, not yet, we use a lot of <laughs> organic materials. Well, natural materials. They're not organic because what we're going to do is burn the organics out so that the organic stuff, we're burning that out ahead of time so that it doesn't cause as many bubbles in our glass. So this is one that is super fun with kids. If you ever work with kids, um, you take a walk and of course you can collect leaves and press them as well, but you take a walk and you can collect dirt. Yes, dirt. Woo! And dirt. compost is not the best. Of course, what we're going to do is burn out all the organics. So if you have dirt like in that part, please don't do that. No. In that part of your yard that isn't growing something, then you want to use that. Okay. So we start by filtering out. I need something to dump my dirt into. Okay. <laughs> we're going to start by filtering out the, the big chunks. And we'll have, okay. We return those to the garden, as along with any life, wildlife that we happen to find, worms, bugs. Ooh, worms. We, we release those back into the wild. We do not cook them. We could. Let's not cook. Let's not. Wildlife. Okay. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? This is this is a bit of an inside joke here. Okay. Doesn't eat fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't eat fruit who? Chase. <laughs> That's not a very funny joke. <laughs> it's a little funny. Sorry, Chase. Okay. <laughs> and then Erica Eric says, I second your Micah is joy comment. Ah, uh, Eric, I'm so glad you're watching. I meant to send you a message and say, don't miss today's show because I think you're going to love this. Okay. <laughs> Eric is doing some unbelievable work with Micah and I'm just in love with all of it. Okay. So now we have dirt. Woo! And this is where our kit comes in. And we didn't talk about what's in the kit? We have a oh very gosh. fun kit today, okay. folks. <laughs> so one of the things that's in the kit is this. If you look at the kit over here, Ooh. do you see that dish-looking thing there? Wow. So that is, it's, it is a dish, right? But it, it's what I use to, as a, I use it as a burnout dish. And then it, can, it has a little ceramic lid that goes on it too. So if you're worried about one of your things that you're burning the organics out of it popping, like every now and then I cook a mystery rock and it explodes, <laughs> you just you put that, yeah, I know. 
<laughs> you can put the lid on it and that will keep it from um, spreading all over your kiln, which is kind of awesome. Oh, so fun. we start with our dirt and we dirt. put it in our burnout bowl. Ooh. And then I just run it through with a regular fuse cycle and I just put the lid on. And actually for this, you wouldn't have to if you didn't want to put the lid on, but you can. And this is what we get afterwards. And so you, can you see how it's dark brown in this before we cook it? and it's red after we cook it. And what's oh, happening nice. here is this is iron, right? This is like iron oxide that's left. Just oh, like, fun. Like, and then this is, we've burned out all of like the stuff that grows things, like other things. Plants, <laughs> things and worms, Organics. right? That stuff is all gone. There were okay. no worms. We did not burn any worms. No, no worms, worms were harmed in the making mm. of this dirt. No worms were <laughs> harmed in the making of this dirt. Okay, so here's an example of something that we do Ooh. right here. So this is really fun with kids in particular, and it's I'm, so I'll, let's pretty. let's do one. Yay! Yay! Let's I do it. Tenor our inner child and do some fun art some with dirt. Some of us are apparently still children. <gasps> Fight me. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So we want, oh, I don't have my, please stop putting leaves on me. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone, child. Okay. I know my uh, cutting board is not here. I will try not to ruin the tablecloth. Okay. I, I don't know. I would be amused if you ruined the table. I would not be. Okay. So we have here some glass. We're going to need a, our paper plate. Yay, we have a lot of paper plates. We do have a lot of paper plates. We use them again and again and again and again. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm sure some of them are older than I am. Nope, they're not. <laughs> paper plates weren't invented till after you were born. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, very close I'm to. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, Jan so, said, Jody, can I include a piece of petrified wood? That's a good question. Well, that's actually how I got, how I ended up making these burnout bowls in the first place is I, I wanted to know if I could include some gypsum in one of mine. And you need to burn it, you need to test it because not all things work well for inclusion. So we try and use things that are relatively inert and things that are heat proof. Um, so you'll see that this, the dirt and then we'll do some sand are already reduced down to pretty small pieces. So test the petrified wood. I don't know how that would work. I have not uh, tried Eric it. says, thank you for the shout out. I couldn't have done it without the <laughs> Mic of Madness kit. Which I know, which is pretty awesome. Fun. Okay, oh, so <laughs> we use regular school glue but we use the, um, the regular kind, not the washable. The washable never quite dries right, so you wanna just use the regular school glue, <laughs> the white kind. I even have an off-brand and it works perfectly well. Um, and this is really fun with little kids because if there's something that kids know how to do, it's glue things and put dirt on things, <laughs> right? So you can have them do all sorts of crazy things. Can I do one? I think you have done one, haven't you? Oh, well, yeah, no, oh. I meant like... Oh, today. Yeah, you yes. can do the sand one. Okay. Yes. So, <laughs> here we have applied white glue. I'm gonna do a cat. Okay. It'll be awesome. And here's our dirt. Woo! Dirt. And we just sprinkle this right on here. <laughs> I can tell you as a child who spent a lot of time in the backyard, dirt is awesome. Yes. Our lawn still has not recovered. I'm not sure it ever will. No. Okay. So Ooh, there's that. Look at that. Let's this see if we can guy. get a nice Okay. So let's up. talk about using the burnout dish for a second. Um, I usually do not kiln wash my burnout dish. And the reason why is... Um, because when I brush things out of it, I don't want to accidentally brush kiln wash off of whatever, you know, in, back into the dish. So I have not kiln washed this. Now, if you're going to fire something that you think might melt or get stuck, then I would kiln wash the dish 
first. And I would use kiln wash so that if you want to, you can scrub it back out. Like the spray, once it's on there, it's kind of on there. So, okay, so that answers that question. Now, before we let you loose on your cat design, yes, I want to talk about sand for a moment. Okay. Barracuda. Okay. If you couldn't tell, barracuda is my new... It's our uh, new code word for questions. <laughs> because barracuda is very fun to... <laughs> It's a fun word to say. Barracuda. Okay. Yes. So Sheila says, we constantly rehome spiders this time of year. Fortunately, they can write eight change of address cards at once. <laughs> and then Jan says, cooked dirt, a 21st century mud pie. Right? We still get to play in the dirt, even as grown-ups, Woo! which is pretty awesome. I'm real hyped about this because I really like dirt. I know. <laughs> and actually, I think I do have a leaf. Well, I guess it's covered with dirt and with... Um, colored frit, but you can actually put the dirt right on leaves too. Ooh. Okay, so sand. Let's talk about sand for a moment. Sand, sand, sand. We sand. have two different kinds of sand in our kit, which is actually pretty yes, awesome. Yes, it's Look a pretty that. fun kit. Okay, so this one on the left, this is actually, Curry. it's a very fine sand and it is from a Florida beach. Ha, mm -hmm. imported. And um, we get 50 grams of that and yes. in your fancy, fancy kit. And 50 grams of filtered dirt that hasn't been fired yet because I hasn't want you to fired. see the color change mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. And then this one on the right, which is sand, it's a little bit pinker, but it is um, silica sand or play sand from the hardware store. That's also included in your kit. Which is also included in your kit. And you can use both of these in your um, fused glass artwork. Okay, so Logan, I'm gonna give you the um, plate. So, oh, try not to dump the dirt in my water, gross. So you can do your cat with yeah. the sand. Try not to get sand on the table. I will okay. probably do my best. Okay, and while you're doing that, I'm gonna talk about um, how to actually fuse this. So we have two layers of glass and we have a scrap here. And when we have an inclusion in glass, we need to leave some way for the air to escape. And so you can do that a number of ways. You can do it, you can sprinkle fine frit between the layers so that it, fine, well, it's usually fine or coarse. I, not powder. Powder is opaque, so you want a frit. You can sprinkle that between the layers, and what happens is it, it holds the layers of glass apart while the glass is softening so that the air can escape, so you get as few bubbles as possible. You can slow your firing down so that the glass uh, slumps and fuses down more slowly, and you can include a bubble squeeze. And a bubble squeeze is above slumping temperature, well, right actually it's below slumping temperature. It's above annealing temperature and just below slumping temperature, right? So you want it to be for, um, for flow glass, you want it to be 1100. For uh, fusible art glass, I think it's around 1000. And I don't know for sure because oh. I don't use fusible art glass. But the other thing that you can do, and this is something you can actually add right in as a design element and that's the best way to do it yes jan asks jody does yes. colored sand like i get from the craft store keep its colors no it does not i tried it i got every color that the um, pet store had and tried all of them and they all came out even the black one came out um sand colored that's Ooh. unfortunate. It was so sad. I was really excited for a minute there. I had visions of doing these sand paintings with inclusions and, and oh, look at how cute. <laughs> I thought that would be awesome. Okay, so you can see Logan's kitty. Isn't that fun? That is fun. See, you can do all sorts of fun stuff. It's great for kids. Yes. As um, I can tell you, because I am a product a child. of that. We did, actually, we did these with every single year of Logan's. <laughs> yeah, we did. Great school. In fact, at one year, I, I showed up with all my supplies, and one of the kids said, We're doing glass again. <laughs> yeah. So you have no idea how lucky you are, young man. 
you actually get to do hard work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. He was a, he was a fun. So we have a couple things going on here. You can see there is a little bit of extra um, of the fine dirt. So you can leave that if you wish, or you can come back in with a paintbrush and clean that up, or you can just add, right? And these will show up. Mm -hmm. So Schwanky. you can do whatever you want, right? whatever you want. That's, this is not the, the very dusty part is not enough um, dirt to separate those layers. Not, it's not like mica where if you have that, it's, it will still fuse solid. Okay, so when we set this up in our kiln, what we want to do, we, what I've done here is cut tiny, tiny squares. May I have the glue, please? Maybe. Thank you. Um, and I, you can glue these or not. If you're transporting your work back to a kiln, glue them, yeah. as, which is what I'm doing. So, and if you're working with kids, gluing is good also. Yeah. But what you can do is put these tiny squares and I tend to try and make them in a symmetrical pattern Ooh. so that if they do still appear on the end piece, they look like I meant them to be there, <laughs> right? That's a good idea. Just, it never hurts to plan ahead. Yeah, planning ahead is good. Yep, okay, so these will just hold that top layer of glass far enough apart to, um, Keep all the to, you had to air give it a out. chance to let all the air out. Okay, and then we would just add the top layer right there. Ta -da, and then we can fuse da, da, da. that. Um, now, if we wanted to add hanging loops, now is a good time to do that. You yeah, can you see on this one right Squish here. Them in. Have we covered hanging loops before? I think we um, have. I don't think we've covered them on the hourglass, but we've certainly talked about them before. So you can see yeah. these little brass loops right there. Yeah. And that's really fun if you're doing projects with kids. You can see this mm -hmm. is an unclaimed kid project. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not 100% sure of the topic of this drawing. But Art. <laughs> it's it was, abstract. Yeah, it, it was a, a younger class. So this is a project I have done with um, kids for artist in residence programs for kids from sixth grade, or from kindergarten all through the way through sixth grade. Um, Woo! <laughs> yes, and we did, I think the school, the one school I worked with had like 250 students. So just imagine how much compatible flow glass you have to have to make that work. Yeah. Okay, do we have any questions about dirt? We do now! Okay, hit me, um, and then we're going to move on to Mike. Don't hit me. <laughs> okay. It's not really a question, it's a statement from okay. Stephanie. Okay. Should have known the trick with the tiny glass squares last year when I played with sand and glass. Oh, and now we have a question from Jan. Okay. Jody, what happens if you try and sandwich fabric between glass? Have you done this? And have you done it using a metallic thread pattern fabric? I have not Ooh, done that. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I have done where I've taken like lace and um, rolled glue onto it and then pressed it onto the glass and peeled it back off and then, and put, then put sand and dirt on the glue yeah. impression. But I have not done actual um, fabric. I would love to see you what it looks it. like. You should try Send it. Send us photos. Okay, can we go on to my favorite part now? Can we, can we, can we, can we, can we, can we, we must. Okay. Starting with Micah. We're gonna do Micah. We're doing Micah. Woo! Sparkly Woo! stuff. Okay. Speaking of Micah, you get yes. 20 this grams is... of raw mica and assorted raw mica shapes in our fantastic fun That's kit. why this is really exciting. Woo! And this is why I thought Eric would like it because this is the first time that I have had kits that have raw mica that hasn't been cooked yet so that yeah. you can experience the wonder and amazement of cooking your own mica. Yeah, so we have some fun shapes. We do. Circles, mostly. We have yeah. fun shapes, we have fun things. So let's talk a little bit about what I'm talking about, right? Let's Micah. Let's, yeah. Woo! Let's look at this. Yeah, when you okay. fired it and it changed colors, you ran around the house crowing because I it did. was so cool. And it was like midnight and I was dancing in my pajamas. Okay. So Micah <laughs> is a mineral. And it's it is um, this is what it looks like straight out of the ground. This is a piece of rock. Uh, and it comes in rock. It's mined and then it's used for a, no a million different things. All million the way from things. the windows, the little view windows in um, 
like wood burning stoves are sometimes made out of mica. Uh, insulators in electrical things that like for instance in your heat gun, if you were to take your heat gun apart, the thing that holds the heat coils is built out of mica. It's, That's interesting. I know. You wonder what happened to our last heat gun. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> it was made out of mica. It, it was made out of mica. <laughs> It was. Past it was tense. It was cool. <laughs> Sherry Berry says, yeah, I wanted to try the ROM mica. Yes. It's so cool. It is super exciting. So super um, I'm going to, the kit this that you really get pretty. has, uh, well, let's talk about mica some more. Hang on. Be patient. So <laughs> mica is a rock and it comes in layers and it's um, mined and you can buy it directly from the mine, um, but you get a lot of not usable stuff. So this is... The stuff that you're getting from me is I buy it in bulk and then I sort out and get all the good stuff out and that's what your kits are made out of. So Woo. you don't have to figure out. You don't have to do any of that. Yeah, you don't have to work. do any of yeah, that. Yeah, it took quite a bit of experiment to figure out the different. The stuff that would work. Yeah. So this is how mica is, the layers work, right? I use just a box, a long box knife, extend the, the um, blade and you can see how thin that piece is. It's just like almost like cellophane. And another word for this mica is isinglass. So it used to be used Ooh. for windows and things back before glass was a big. That's cool. So, so I have made sure shiny. that everybody's kit will have a piece of the actual rock. But most of the mica that we use is, um, it's already been, that is right. The stuff that you exactly are getting like has already been sorted. So mostly, what you what you'll be getting is um, more of an industrial grade. Here, let's see if I can show it here. Okay. Now wow. the thing about mica, yeah, it's, it looks just like cellophane. It's it does. Super it sounds like it too. Yeah. Right? It's so the thing about mica is um, it covers a broad family of minerals. So it comes in a bunch of different colors. If you so wanna, shiny. You wanna grab a couple of those from the kit and we'll look at, compare some of the different sure. colors. Sure. Cause I'm not sure I have, I think all the stuff I have over here is pretty much cooked. Okay. Okay. So it comes in a bunch of different colors. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put it on the back of this white plate right here. Okay. You can. Okay. So you can see how, see, so I'm making, I'll make sure, I made all these kits myself, so I know exactly what you're getting. <laughs> you can see it kind of comes in different shades, Let's right? So some are, are, are very oh, clear, some are dark, yeah. some are really dark. Yeah, this and one's then, like a, like almost a yellowy yes. brown, right? And then what you do with these is you put them in your burnout bowl, and then you, I just cook them right, I fire them, through a fuse firing, just with my regular stuff. Um, they do off-gas some, the, it's water, so it's burning the water out. Um, so there's nothing toxic that comes out of it, um, but it does change the way it looks. Um, Elizabeth Carling says, so excited to finally be able to watch live. Hi, Elizabeth. <laughs> hey, Elizabeth. It's a fun time. Are you homesick from work or Woo. just pretending to be sick from work? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay. So here's some examples. Um, the temperature that you fire your mica to affects the color. And the a starting color affects the color. So I brought some examples to show you. Mm -hmm. I have so many examples. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. You've done so many tests. I love tests, but this was not hard work for me because you know I love to do this. <laughs> okay. So this is what the original whew, mica looked like. Right? Uh, Sherry Berry says, by the way, be very careful with a razor. Today I ran a razor blade all the way to the bone on my oh. thumb. Oh, are you okay? That, oh, ow. Oof. Straight to the bone. That sounds disgusting, by the way. <laughs> and painful. D just make sure to clean that out. And right. Okay. Stitches, maybe. Because, <laughs> ow. Okay. Can you see these? So mm -hmm. this is the original color right here. Uh, let's see if we have maybe a piece of white. Okay, you can see it's kind of a mid-tone copper. Mid-tone, but then you know if you split it out, it's kind of a lighter. Yeah, lighter. Okay. So this is this from the same one? 
no, that's the rock. Oh, no, hold on to that for a second. Okay, so this is, uh, if you fire it to 1600, so this is just a hair hotter than a fuse, and if I think we can do a close-up right there. Can we do a close-up right uh, there? Of this? Yes. Yeah. Of this. Okay, so this Ooh, is how shiny. before it's cooked. This is 1500. And while you're there, look at, can you show them the edge? See how yeah. it puffs up like that? Yeah, and then you can kind of, yeah. can I pull it apart? Uh -huh. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that fun? And then you yeah. can pull it apart again. So and again, again, and again and again, right? And again. Yeah, careful with that box cutter. I am being very careful. <laughs> so then you can you can split this. And this is a little mesmerizing. I, I could do this all day. Yeah, seriously. You can get it like super thin. Look at that. Right? Look how many of these. <laughs> you get. This is all from like the same little chunk. It's from the same one chunk, right? right except okay. This, all right, right, right. Look at all that. So this is 1650 and 1700. So you can see these are close to the same. Mm hmm And then we start getting 18, 19, and 2000. So it, it yeah, goes. Yeah, it gets whoop. lighter. Right. So we go from like a silver to a like a pearl. pearl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it also gets more fragile. So as you get higher temperatures, it becomes more fragile. Now, if you're grinding it to make flakes, please wear a, respirator, a respirator because a it, respiratory. Is, it is a silica product. So usually in sheets, it's not that big of a Ooh. deal. But um, if you were grinding it, you definitely want to, wow. to do that. OK, this now is, this, it is very do you remember the piece of rock? This is what happens when you fire the piece of rock, is you get a here, super, maybe, here, let me just okay, scooch all yeah, these out of the way. You're using it up on my okay. overhead. So you get, so. Uh, it goes bright gold. Yeah. Right. Wow. And super sparkly. All right. Right. It's so shiny. So let's, <laughs> wow, I know. Man. And you wonder why I was jumping around all over the house. Okay, so here. Oh, I didn't say that it was unbiased. I just said it was happening. Okay, so here is the a darker one. You can uh -huh. see it becomes more opaque. Mm -hmm. And I'm totally not aiming it the right direction. Good. Oh, over there. Okay. Well, you're you're the expert in the camera oh, thing. I'll let you do it. Okay. Yeah, you can kind of see right. that it becomes. It becomes very. Um, very sparkly. Yeah, you can see it's sparkling. See. It's so it's so shiny. I know it is. Okay, so this is an example of um, just I wanted to show you the thickness change. Um, this is the same. Like it's like two halves of the same piece of mica. Mm -hmm. So this is very flexible and very mm -hmm. thin, just like cellophane. And this is Here, what happens I? after you fire it, you can... and it can be cut if you like. Yeah, so it just... Right, so it puffs up. Now, if you have um, a piece and it's sealed on the edge, so you're not able to cut the, you know, to slide your razor blade in there. Then you can just trim snip, snip off away. the edge. And it will expose the... Layers. The so layers. Just like an the onion. Layers, <laughs> yep. Okay. All right, and Torn then acre. let's look at some of the other colors. So here's just a variety of colors. Yeah, it's super pretty. And this was very. This is very similar to the 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 Here. selection that you'll get in the. Yeah, look at how shiny! Wow, it's so shiny. Okay, let's look at one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know, this is like the most fun I've had all day, so, okay. I mean, that's fair. Right? So one of the things that you can do with your little pieces here is you can split out very easily, split out the layers. Mm -hmm. Sheila says, is it possible to use a die cutter to cut shapes from the mica sheets? Um, I have not used a plotter, but I will show you what I have brought for us to look at today. today. So what I have brought is this. It's a 
stamp, punch stamp. Uh, yeah, which might be close to what Sheila's talking about. Yeah, so you can make little stars. Right, so I usually do it upside down so I can see how much of the mica is actually being stamped. Ooh. Okay. Now we have a bunch of pretty stars. I do. Can you can you see them there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So here's a little start. See how thin that guy is? It really does just look like cellophane. Oh, here's some cooked stuff. It, right? So From the same stamp. Ooh, it's so fragile. Yes, so I actually always fire that part too. So here's. <laughs> it's so pretty. And there's the unfired part. Yeah, here's the like. Doo -doo -doo -doo. They match up. Yay! They do match Fun. up. Fun. It's so fragile. Okay. And then um, what we do is we put, I, I usually put it all in the burnout dish together, but you can do, you can cut out your little pieces, your die cut pieces, and then um, you can, if you can see them, mm -hmm. the little, you can use some th those like that. Mm -hmm. You can make, I just tossed it. Look at that. Right, but you can also, but wait. But wait, there's, there's more. <laughs> Let's see, where's one of my bigger pieces of? Uh, Eric says, what kind of cutter is the Star Punch? Uh, you know what, a, it's just a scrapbook cutter. You just, it's just, a, um, and it's from, I just buy them at the? The Very Large Craft Store. Well, <laughs> okay, I didn't buy it at the Very Large Craft Store because they were really, really expensive at the Very That's Large true. Craft Store. So I bought it online. Does it have but interchangeable dies? No, no, it doesn't. And these were about, they're really quite nice, um, but it was about $14, I think, and it has all of these. Stars. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. It's a pretty good one. But, um, you know, I didn't think $14 was terrible. And if you do them, if you buy them online, mm -hmm. you can get anything, any kind, but, <laughs> okay. Oh, so we punched out some shapes before we cooked the mica. And you know, you know I mean fired, right? When I say mm -hmm. cooked, I don't Yeah, really... we didn't just stick okay, it in Okay, we didn't just stick it in the oven. We actually... Stick it in the stove. <laughs> yeah. Because I do say that fired. all the time, I'll say. I need to put some... some Cats in the oven, and I, I don't mean real cats, I mean glass cats, in the kiln. Yeah. But you can also do them after you fire. Yeah, so then you have so then, some you're right. relatively fragile, but still real pretty. Yeah. They're all and pretty fragile. No matter they what. are more fragile if you um, fire them first. They're also thicker, because of course now that star is multiple layers mm -hmm. that we can... Ooh. Right. Now we have a million stars. Now we have a million stars. But what do we do with the stars? <gasps> do, 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 do. You knew I was going to tell you, huh? Well, yes. But wait. There's more. Yes. Okay, let's, let's make a star project. Elizabeth asks, does it work better to punch before firing? I've only used the fired mica to punch. Yeah, so I actually like it better before it's fired because I can get thinner pieces and then I can um, make more shapes. But if you don't like to sit and peel it apart, like, because I kind of like that. <laughs> if you do, <laughs> right, if that's not your cup of tea, um, then you can do it after you fire. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that there's really, it does seem like the ones that you punch before you fire are a little sturdier, partly because um, you're not punching the fired fragile stuff. You're punching this relatively sturdy cellophane-y stuff. Yeah, Jan asks, do you have to pre-fire the mica or can you use unfired mica between glass? Um, I, if you're going to put it right between the glass, I would pre-fire it because it will give off quite a bit of, um, it will off gas quite a bit. Here's an example of some bubbles that we had um, where we were doing oh, some experiments, that. right? When we were doing some experiments. And um, yeah, you do, you do get some pretty good bubbles if you. Yeah, that was when we were testing out tiny bottles. Yep. I remember that one, that right. one was very interesting. Yeah, the star so stuck to the top. Right, so let's do a little. 
let me take Sheila's advice and not cut my fingers off. Okay. Good plan. So one of the things I really like this stuff for is jewelry. Mm -hmm. Don't use scissors. I know scissors <laughs> will not work on glass. Despite what do you what video channels will tell you, it does not it's do not the that. best. Right. I'm also quite sure it'll make a terrible noise. Yes, it will make a terrible noise. Okay, so while we're while I'm working on this, let's look at the shapes that are in the kit. So Ooh. you can show I'm that. Not sure, if we can get. It's mostly some. circles. Mostly there. circles. Yeah, mostly circles super and. Cool. Right. Look at yep. that. Those and are pretty diddly darn solid. <laughs> Yes, ladies and gentlemen, she is 16 and says diddly darn. <laughs> Jim diddly darn dandy, my dear. All the cool kids say that nowadays. Whew. You just didn't yes. know. <laughs> <laughs> Yuppie. All Hip right. with the kids and say Jim diddly darn dandy. So let's look at uh, a piece with the... This is low E glass, of course, also one of my very favorites in the whole wide world. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, some circles. Woo, circles. Right. Donna asks, so you can fuse it uncovered without any issues, correct? No, you. Uh, this mica does have to be capped because oh, it, won't, it stick won't, to the glass. won't stick to the glass. Yeah, so it does have to be capped. What um, if you put the mica on the kiln shelf and then melted the glass on top of it? Would it? You can do that, um, and it is very cool, but it uh, is a fragile surface. So and it'll what, fall out when you... It doesn't... It will peel off eventually. Peel off, you can yeah. peel it off with some work. But if you were yeah. doing a framed piece or something like that, you definitely could just do it um, directly on the surface. Yeah, that's probably. Yeah. So, but here's a, a, an example of some little things that we did with the... Eric says, did you cut the circles with a die cutter? No. They came that way, didn't they? Yes. Those are, um, they're an industrial shape. So probably used for insulators or something like that. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get some for the close-up. Okay. They make a very nice little clink. Yeah, clinkety noise. And this is a, they will come out a whole variety of colors the same way as wow, the. Wow, look at well, all that. Well, they predominantly tip towards the silver side of things, but. Yeah, and then there's some just plain circles with yep. no. Yep. These are like donut-y shapes, and then there are some not donut-y shapes. Donut holes. <laughs> Yes, donuts and donut holes. Ooh, don't uh, don't don't rub them together. It makes a not fun noise. And some as I just pieces. learned. <laughs> okay, here you show these. Ooh, oh, is that a little snowman? That's hysterical. <laughs> look, it's a little snowman. Right. Aww. All right. So let's look at. Look at that. That's so cute. <laughs> is it Jim Diddly Darn Dandy cute? No. Oh. <laughs> How cute does it have to be to be darn cute, darn dandy cute? Diddly darn dandy. Yeah. What's the scale? This is, mm, it's hard to tell. It goes on a case-by-case <laughs> case basis. <laughs> yeah, so you can Funny. get all of these fantastic shapes so you can make your own not quite diddly darn dandy cute, but still pretty cute little snowman with all these circles that came in our fantastic kit right wow. so that um, as and well I, as sand dirt the a so really it, cool like firing bolt thing and and i will put in my firing schedule too um oh so there's awesome. the burnout bowl with the lid Ooh, and the lid is ceramic bowl. it's just a round ceramic oh, tile and then there that. is some wow. filtered utah dirt woohoo yay so dirt. you don't it's already filtered ready to fire so mm -hmm. you can do and that then you have silica sand and then not silica sand well from it's all silica sand but it's Fancy because sand is silica right yeah because science because science fun fact but glass is made out of sand glass is made out of sand Fun fact, the computer industry sucks up all the A-grade sand, so windows are usually blue or green because they have a high iron content. Ooh. Now, aren't you glad you knew that? I'm not sure how I'm <laughs> going to apply that to my life, but interesting information with Shodi. But you're glad you know it. Hey, hey, 
No petting. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, folks. You heard it here. You cannot pet the Jody. No petting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So now I have some ti a tiny piece of glass and some of my beautiful glue. That just blows me away. You're going to leave me behind. <laughs> oh, dear. Le leave, leave me behind. Leave me alone, lady. You keep falling all over my workspace. Hey, you. You're <laughs> crowding me. Okay, so for small pieces, you sort of small jewelry pieces, you can see I got a nice big wish <laughs> of glue in there. Okay. Is that why com most computers run window? Because they're made out of sand? Oh, that's a good one. Uh, and then Jan says, Jody, have you cooked red dirt? Does it stay red? It does stay red. Ooh, that's right. We got yes, some we have yes from uh southern utah yes we went there for a vacation and i have distinct memories of some yes of a really <laughs> really long hike and some really bad blisters and we collected all of the dirt out of our shoes <laughs> the hike yeah, was longer was than i was funny. advertised it was so well when you're a small person it feels like a long time okay I know, but they so thought it would be like here's a focus Okay, here. Here is, and I keep getting the wrong camera. This is that layers one? of mica stacked up. Can you see Ooh. that? So that's a silver mica over the top of a copper. Wow. Just the same so way cute. that we did our little stars or next to each other. And this is. I really like this. It's I very pretty. I really like it. It's that. all the different types of mica and it's, it's like just a, a bunch nice of different colors. Yeah. Here, let's see if I can not have glare. Apparently and not. Then there's a bench here too. Yeah. Well, what if I flip it around so there's less glare? Oh, there we go. Look at how cute that is. Right? I Aww. quite like the the little leaves. Right, me too. The leaf leaf that right there so people can see it for a minute. <laughs> yes, can we get a uh, Yeah, look at how cute that is. Oh, funny. Leaf me out of this lady. Right. Um, this is a little coaster, maybe? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Really cute. And there's there's a whole set of them right there, in fact. Wow. Wow. You can make your own little coaster set. You can make a lot of stuff, actually. You can this make is, a whole heap of stuff. Yeah. This ends up being a lot, a lot, a lot of mica. Once <laughs> it all puffs up and... Sherry Berry says, Jody, I will not be coming to Utah, but now I can have the dirt. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> Sherry, I will ship you dirt anytime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and shout out to Sherry for buying our fantastic little kit. So oh, awesome. Fun. Yeah. Okay. Um, Ooh, what are we doing next? Well, I'm, I'm just trying to think of a reason to show off my cool mica firing color chart. How about because it's cool? Fine. Let's just do that. Let's have the cool mica fire. Let's have the color cool mica color chart. Real schnazzy. Because I'm mm -hmm. a big giant nerd. You are a big giant I nerd. I know. So am I. I come by it honestly. I know. Okay, can you see my, my color chart here? Yep. Look okay. at that. So. So we have, wow. Right? So this is, I laminated it. It's it's not yeah, fused. Yeah, we got a laminating. Yes, I do. I have my own. I have my own laminating machine. Yeah. So what this is is it's all the different like tones of mica. Mm -hmm. And they're all labeled with. And then they're all fired to different temperatures. The number and the temperature. So there's mm -hmm. one, and then sixteen fifty. But the number is just my random um, yeah, so designation. There's... Like I don't. It just, I There's sorted no it specific into, yeah. like number per thing. Yes. Yeah, so just, if you try and if you try and order Mike a number one, no one's gonna know what you're talking about because it's just my number, <laughs> right? <laughs> but this is uh, just sort of the range of pretty coolness. Colors. Yep, and yes. pretty colors. Nerd, nerd alert! Serious nerd <laughs> alert! I know. Nerd, 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 I know. nerd. But I love nerd. it. I don't care. I don't care. Okay. 
whatever, okay. whatever you want to do. Should we, should we put this up so people always want to have, see this really, okay, here. I'm going to put this here That's... and have a close, uh, okay. can we do an overhead? Overhead Where it's is over, over here. here. Overhead is over here. <laughs> All right. Here, let's scooch this over so yeah. we can have the contrast. There we go. Oh, look at how cute that see? is. You can get an idea. The top row is not fired yet. Mm-hmm. And, and then, then the second row is 1600, 1600, 1650, 700, 1700, 1800, 1900, 1900, 1900, 1900 and 2000. Wow. That's cool. Right? just so you can see the many, many varieties. The many, many fun um, things. Most glass kilns, though, are <gasps> We not... didn't do a giveaway. Oh, we could. Should we, we could. do a giveaway? Let's do a I giveaway. I have a little What's packet a of stars here we could give away. What do you think about that? Okay, folks, tell us in the chat. Do you want us to give away the little packet of stars? Micah stars. Da, da, da. Already cut out. Various sizes. Very pretty. They're mostly or, gold. Or do we want to... Um, give away a, a whole nother thing full of Utah dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Tell well, us, vote You have to choose between yes, Mica stars or vote Utah dirt. Mica stars or okay. variety Utah dirt already filtered. Okay, it's a deal. Thank you. Tell but us in the you chat. Have to chat. You have to do it quickly because voting will close soon. Voting will close in Give it a second till we get to a. <laughs> I have a watch on. It's a very nice watch. It was a birth. It was a Christmas gift from this one. Starting in one minute. You have one minute to vote, people. Okay. Stars or dirt. <laughs> and then you also need to tell us if you've been sharing. Yes. Because that's how you. If enter. you are entered into this giveaway, that means you have. This is a very well planned share. giveaway. You notice that we we planned this way for it. <laughs> don't 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 give away. Okay. Um. So, oh yes, you enter the giveaway by sharing and commenting and telling all your friends how amazing dirt is. <laughs> <laughs> and also by buying our fantastic kit full of. Dirt, sand, and mica. Woo! Okay. Let's see. We still have some 15 seconds. Okay, I thought of another dirt trick I want to show, so. Another dirty trick? No, not a dirty trick. Just a, a dirt, dirt trick. trick. <laughs> All right, oh, voting I is guess, closed, folks. Let's I guess have. technically it could be a dirt e trick because it is. <laughs> dirt. Yes. Let's have our wonderful um, admins tell us which one won. The stars or the dirt. And what and we're giving away, stars yes. or dirt. Okay. And then guest 619 said, thank you for these hourglass classes. I wish I could have participated more, but I was sanding the edges of bottles while I watched. Oh, oh that's not very fun. <laughs> All righty. Stars won for sure. Okay. Oh, but it's such good dirt. I can't and then believe. Jan says, Jody gets the hourglass and Logan gets a minute glass. <laughs> <laughs> well, that mm. seems appropriate, right? <laughs> we, we let her have okay. the three minute glass from the dentist. <laughs> Should I just do that? Give you a little hourglass? Yeah, we I had know. little hourglass. Okay. So I, th I have another dirt thing I want to show you. <laughs> I got sidetracked. Another so, dirty joke. Another. You know, seriously. So I have float glass and a stencil here. And I'm going to spray over the top of the stencil with my super nice, expensive hairspray. That we got from what? No, it's, no, it's not nice or expensive. <laughs> it's strong. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, drama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'm so just like suffocated. <laughs> Catch me fainting on the no, floor. No, I'm not going to. My hands are full. But please. Ooh, okay. That's cool. So this way, the reason that I spray over the top, two reasons. One oh, is we want it to stick to that. You can get like a really, it kind of looks like snake skin because the... Right? I'm not touching it. Okay. 
It looks, because it, it's thicker in some places, like, right? Look at that, look at that. Doesn't it kind of look like it's next? That's so cool. Yes, it is cool. So Nifty. the hairspray makes the dirt stick to the glass, but it also makes it stick to the stencil. So when you lift the stencil off, the dirt goes with it. And then we just let that dry and then brush it off. It won't make it stick too hard. It will make it stick just enough. And then because this goes quite close to the edge, I don't need to leave a, a space. <laughs> but what I am gonna do, we could add, we could add something mica-y to this. What? Shari says, I love the dirt. I do too. Okay, see? Shari, you can have your own special shipment of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make Logan dig it up and filter it. Rude. I'll okay. do it though. All right, so we can mix these, don't forget. Ooh, pretty. Right, okay. So make sure you add stencils in. Make sure you add leaves. Ooh. We talked about lots of leaves. Okay, should we run through the kit one more time? Yes, let's. And okay. then we will announce the winner for our totally planned giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So in our wonderful kit, we have two different types of sand, filtered Utah dirt. Oh, okay. Egg. Slow down. Slow down. We have 50 grams of Florida beach sand. We have 50, 50 grams, grams of play sand. We have 50 grams of filtered Utah dirt. dirt. We have a burnout dish and with a lid. Woo! And we have 20 grams of raw sheet mica and you'll get a variety of those and I will Yay. make sure one of them is the, the straight out of the ground rock kind. And then we have 50. And we have 20 grams, 20 grams not of 50. shapes. Ooh, right. And snazzy. I did weigh these after I fired them. Awesome. And they lose less, like not even half a gram between the, the pre-fired <laughs> weight and the post-fired weight. So, awesome. yeah, so, okay. It also will have my firing schedule. It will also have Jody's one of, you have Micah on your eyebrow. Okay. Maybe I wanted it there. <laughs> <laughs> Too it bad. will also have Jody's fantastic one of a kind firing schedule. Wow. And then Sheila says, Micah needs to be kept away from the edge, doesn't it? Yes. Yes. Well, it does. And I'll show you, let's see. Why is that, Jody? Because Micah, well, you can see, it. let's see. Let me move my snake skin dirt here. Snake dirt? Snake, no, that's a different thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if, if you look at this. This is a family show. <laughs> you can see that this is pretty close to the edge. Mm -hmm right here, um, but it does, if it ex is exposed, it can. Here, let's. Oh, sorry, am switch. I not on the extreme overhead? I know, see, I always forget which is the overhead. Yes. Yeah, so so you if can. you get too close to the edge, the mica will act like a separator a little bit, mm -hmm. and which is. Maybe you want that effect. Right, but it's just something to remember. Mm -hmm. So I try and leave, this one is a little close, I try and leave an eighth of an inch. Okay, um, let me just from the throw edge. it anywhere. So, right. yeah, all right. Yeah. That's why you don't want to keep away. And then MD says, oh, great information. Look how cute this guy is. Yeah, it sure okay. is. I know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know Your what I'm... Your hair is very silky. Stop it. You know what I'm going to be doing <laughs> the rest of the day besides brushing my hair? Well, I'm sorry. Is sorting mica. Okay. <laughs> all right. What, who is, wait, I put the glass piece in there. Now I'm afraid it will break the stars. Okay. Okay. There we go. Who, my dear administrators, not administrators, admins, is the winner for our wonderful little container full of mica stars? That is short for administrators. Shh, okay. be silent. Shh. <laughs> wow, look at how shiny and sparkly. It comes in a fun little box too. Yay! Fun box. Alrighty, who is our wonderful winner? Give us a minute. Okay. <laughs> and while we're waiting, while let's we're waiting. look at the rock one again because I think it is seriously that cool. <laughs> it is pretty darn right? cool. So this, if you live in a state that has mica naturally occurring, it will look like Ooh. this, like just when you dig just it right out of the ground. Rock. Mm-hmm. That's pretty now. Yep. Nifty. 
and then gnarly. It's pretty darn gnarly. Oh, the eighties called. They want their gnarly back. No, they cannot have it. Terrible. You're terrible. I should have worn my eighties jacket. I have this Kay. gray jacket. And it's straight from the eighties. Like I'm pretty sure it was made then. Yeah, and it's a yep. leather jacket. It's so great. Okay. So, so you'll see that this one that is um, just straight from the ground, the layers don't separate quite as easily as mm -hmm. the um, industrial grade right. stuff. It doesn't puff up as much. Right. Oh, you're going to love this. Eric from Colorado won. Oh, yay, yay Eric! You can awesome. have some nifty stars. <laughs> you can make right, star art. Start. Awesome. Start. Start. Sheila asks, what kind of earth is mica bearing? I do not know. I couldn't tell you. Sorry. Nope. I do not know. And then? Um, I think it's volcanic, though. Probably. I'm almost sure. Because the parts of Utah that have mica naturally occurring are volcanic areas. So that would make me, lead me to believe that it would be volcanic. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, do, 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 like do. sand through the hourglass. Unfortunate. Shari thing. says, thank you, ladies, for a great <laughs> show. Yeah, we have thank fun. Thank you and then for Bri being here. Uh, Brie Tree says, oh, nice kit, isn't it? Hey, Brie. <laughs> it's a pretty fun kit. <laughs> it is yeah. a nice kit. And okay, so any last minute questions about the kit? So. It's a pretty amazing kit. It's pretty This is the first time that I have had the raw mica In available, mm -hmm. and I think you're going to love it. It is. You certainly do. I do. I do love it. <laughs> I might have fun. to start a little support group. Like, we'll, the mica. What we'll do is mica we'll just anonymous. Skype and we'll peel mica together at oh, the same time. Oh, God. It will be awesome. That doesn't sound sketchy at all. No? Okay. <laughs> All, All right, righty. grab that kit before we run out. Yep, we have limited stock okay. once again. So, oh, uh, did you want to talk about what we're doing next time? What are we doing next we time? Are do next, the next Hourglass, we are doing um, a fuse and fold Christmas village scene. Oh, that's right. So it's going to be intense <laughs> because we're doing multiple patterns in one hour. So we're doing Ooh. a reindeer, a sleigh, a tree, and um, a house. So or we're doing a hat with legs. And we were going to do a hat with legs. Yeah. That, so you're not going to want to miss that one, folks. It's going right. to be intense in and fun and all sorts of sparkly. And in two weeks. Yep. So. So. Okay. Set, uh, synchronize watches, synchronize everybody. Synchronize your hourglass. <laughs> Wait here. Ready? Okay. <laughs> synchronize right. your hourglass, everybody. We'll see you back we'll here see in you two next weeks. Time. <laughs> Bye.